Death Mod Russia campaign and this my friends have left the last time where we have peace my friends relative peace here after the absolute titanic battle we had here against the Persians where they really did throw absolutely everything at us here to try and break our sort of northern holding here they crossed the Don they really pushed they even took Kazan here and Tataria they really did push and they were not too far away sometimes very very close they were right here to Varenza here really close to Moscow at one point but we managed my friends we managed to hold them back and indeed in the end we actually took the Don and we even took here Armenia here which is an absolute real coup de grace on our terms and because my friends of Mike Cathcart, General Mike Cathcart he was at one point completely surrounded by an absolute plethora of um, of Persian armies but he stood strong he didn't back away at all he wasn't frightened one at all my friends by being surrounded that he held his nerve and because he held his nerve we have now another territory under our control as you can see we've managed to pretty much bottleneck here the Persian forces into Georgia and here into Chechnya now that doesn't mean though that the threat is over as many of you have said, Mal the, the, the Persians will only bide their time and then they will strike again. Of course, they've got Azerbaijan here on the coast here of the Caspian Sea. And of course, then they've got the great sort of, you know, central Persian sort of, you know, capital here of Esfahan here in Persia. And as you can see, they're not in the best of shape in terms of the populace. The populace has a massive uprising. They've had to really put down several rebellions already. So clearly, there's a lot of going on here with the with the Persians but it might be in our favor here this might work in our favor as you can see a lot of these armies have taken a real beating here because they've had to quell a number of rebellions in their capital and that's given us time to rebuild to replenish to, to reinforce and to really get our economy as well back to where it needs to be of course we've got here Mesopotamia which was really beaten quite badly during the war a lot of raiding a lot of you know real sort of commerce was shut off a lot of roads were cut number of these bridges were sealed off and Baghdad was essentially isolated from the rest of the Russian Empire with a few troops being able to move in from Syria taking a long way around along the Mediterranean along the sort of Latakia here through here all the way into Anatolia and then back around to Baghdad a long long journey to get here but now as you can see we have set ourselves a, f an, a superb defense here at least an army group and right here we are beginning the foundations of a new army group. This army group is not going to be defensive. This one is going to be an offensive army group and it's going to aim directly at the heart here of the Persian Empire here. We're going to go for Esfahan if they declare war but honest but not if my friends when they be under no illusions we are going to be at another war with the Persians it's just a matter of time and we have to make sure we take the most of that time every single second counts here we're reinforcing Armenia because it absolutely guarantee they'll come for Armenia with all guns blazing so we are we have moved in a substantial amount of reinforcements as you can see here riflemen a huge amount of cavalry to give us that mobility we've even got these forces here as you can see here more cavalry more rifle infantry line infantry I beg your pardon moving into Armenia we're probably going to put another army in there as well to really bolster the defences here so that Anatolia here is not going to be threatened they did come within a whisker of Anatolia they really did down to Adana here and they also quickly they did raid Latakia for a brief for a brief time we've also managed to seal off here sort of the this sort of causeway here dare I, dare I say between the Black Sea and the Mediterranean we do have this fleet in here not a, not a, a, a really powerful fleet but it should be enough to see off this fleet here from the Persians seems to be stuck here just in case they did move into against Crimea which really is an important port for us but most of our trade is through here Odessa right here on the Black Sea so we're pretty safe here we are also really putting a lot of time and money and troops into our western re uh, sources as you can see look at that there why are the Prussians here why are they moving through here this does give us a little bit of ca cause for concern here that's why we're moving these forces and in fact what we might do is divert these forces here I think we're gonna divert them here into Zagreb I think that's going to be probably our best bet. Actually, we'll move it into Croatia, into Zagreb proper here. Going through, as you see, Hungary really is sort of the the apogee here of our sort of Western redoubt. 
and we do have a lot of our economy is built around sort of the Yugoslavia, the Balkans. It really is a vital to our economy that we hold the Balkans against any sort of thrust by the per by the Prussians here. And the Prussians are absolutely, you know, without doubt one of the strongest, most powerful nations. Look at the territory they got here. It stretches all the way here, right in the east here, on in. Uh, Riga, Estonia, all the way right down to Paris here in France, but they are in a brutal, brutal war with Spain. We're allied with Spain. The reason we're allied with Spain, because between us, we effectively control the Mediterranean. Now, that may not seem much, but when, we, when you control such a vast sort of array of land and sea here, it does put the the potential of any Prussian sort of forces being able to move in here very very slim indeed as you can see the Spanish are starting to build up some substantial armies you know we're allied with the Spanish so that's going to give us and them time to repel any invasions any anything coming from the Prussians but as you can see we've got a large Prussian army right on the border of Spain here and I think Spain should be ready to repel anything there look at that they've got some wonderful units here they really do look at that Royal Spanish Guard absolutely fantastic so again, they are standing tall here, but they did briefly, Pru the Prussians did briefly move into Turin and Milan. They took them, but the Spanish then retook them back off them. So as you can see, the Spanish pretty much almost control all of Italy. Now that's going to be important because with them just across the way, an ally across the sort of the, the Adriatic here, it does again provide that security. Two allies working together will crush anything coming in here, but again, we have to look after ourselves. We are trying to support the Spanish where we can. But again, we have to look after our own borders. We have increased security along the border here with Belarus. We've also increased security here in St. Petersburg. As you can see, they have moved in a substantial cavalry army here, backed by some militia units. But still, we are going to you know, really start to increase our holdings here in St. Petersburg. I think it's pretty important we do that. We've got the Danish fleet up here, which is really absolutely buoyant here. We do have a lot of ships here, the Danes. But we've also moved in probably our most powerful naval task force here to guard the Baltic here, particularly Kronstadt here, which really is a vital holding to our trade. As you can see, 30,000 gold goes through here. It's vital we hold that. But we also have got to focus on here, on the Persians, building up our resources, building up our infrastructure, our economy. It really, is, as you can see, we've got the steam power cloth mill here in Cairo. How are we doing here? Plus one. Just about got a grip here of the of the populace here in, in um, Egypt and we, it ties down quite a powerful army but still I, we're not going to take any chances we'll have to retrofit these with better guns <clears throat> but I think everything is flowing quite nice we do need to get the global trading company here in Herculeon but we can now with Est Istanbul and Greece we can start feeding this the sort of the Balkans with some better troops and more troops but I think that's pretty much sums up where we are at the moment. We've got to keep an eye on these here as well with but as you can see they do have quite large some decent armies here the, da the Danes. I don't know why they're on the border I think it's because they're probably looking to go to Sweden or we're allied with Sweden as well which means as you can see look at that there how are the Swedes and the trading partners with the Prussians which is fine it's a mixed bag of ships there, nothing to read, but look at that there, they're holding off there. The Persians have actually blockaded, or oh, have they blockaded? No, they haven't. Yes, they have blockaded Malmo here, which is really the linchpin here of Swedish trade. But they've still got quite a good amount coming, but look at the number of ships they've got here. That is absolutely ridiculous. Um, those fleets, not many, not much is going to stop those fleets. We don't have that sort of naval power yet. We're trying to get there, but it's going to take a long time for us to do that. Because we simply started off from a very low naval base. Um, so we're going to have to really put a lot of money into our naval forces. With 31,000 here. Trade has dropped off a little bit here, I believe. It's probably because... No, Sweden is actually okay here. As you can see, the Mughal Empire is a massive massive factor in it. Prussia again because we've got that land link with them but where's Spain? There's Spain here. We're trying, to, we're trying to increase the trade we've got with Spain that would be a huge help to us and also remember we have to at some point as well move into the Americas. Now we are still planning to move into the Americas 
they are not happy but that's gonna that's gonna actually fall away there soon so I should be back into the green so we are looking as well to still look and move into the Americas there is quite still a bit here we can do. We've still got three pirate islands, four pirate islands is going to give us a good foothold in here. Many of you have asked to be sort of the lead forces with us moving into the Americas. That's what we're going to do. We're going to start building up into the Americas here. But as you can see, look at Britain. It is absolutely pretty much conquered the entirety of North and Canada. North America and Canada has been pretty much conquered by the British. They are absolutely just a powerhouse here in the Americas. But along with Spain, Spain is also a real potent force here and it gives them a huge amount of incoming. Oh look at that and there's two lots of rebels here. We might be find ourselves moving into this rebel area, so especially Dutch Guyana here. Where I think we're going to get a task force together and make the most of that there but at the same time keeping an eye on what's going on here. So we're going to start building that fleet I think we'll use the. F I think we'll probably use Greece to do it. That and build that army from Greece. We need to retrofit some of these as well. <coughs> I think we'll retro. We'll build an army from Greece, or maybe even Istanbul. Oh, that's a wonderful look at that general there. Okay. Now I know that many of you have asked to be sort of the generals that make them the plunge into the Americas but if if for some reason you don't see yourselves going into the Americas please don't think I've ignored you it's just that your your sort of skill your discipline may be needed here against the Persians that really is the overriding sort of you know really overriding consideration we've got to take into factor here I need the generals that I can you know that I know that have been in battles I know I can trust here in battle and that is you my friends the the generals you see here on this eastern front in the Middle East, you know, I need you to be here. I know that many of you have asked to be in the America, to, to take that plunge into America. And I, you know, if, if the time comes when we need to launch sort of a significant attack into America, maybe even against Britain, then believe me when I say we will do that. We're at peace with Britain at the moment, but they are, you know, absolutely getting a, a, a ton of money from the Americas here because they've got so much dominance in there. But if you find yourselves, and I've also got a good chunk here of India as well, but if you find yourselves not going to America, even though you've asked it, please don't think I've ignored you. I haven't, my friends. It's just the fact that I need I need your presence on in the Middle East here. It really is vital that we do hold it. Um, we've got some, some wonderful, like we've got Mohammed Ahmed here. Uh, we've got uh, General Nelson here. I know we've got some other, you know, some fantastic other generals here. We've got uh, Joseph de Paz here as well. We've got no guard, no no general there at all. We got um, General Z here as well. Look at that! What a wonderful army that is there. And also a number of you are here as well. A number of excellent generals here in Hungary here waiting as well. General Omer. Now uh, we've got General Larson. No general there. So we've got a few slots open. If anybody would like to have the general slot, we do have that there. We've got General DJP. Um, General Death as he is now, so I do need to change that. So I know a number of you have asked to be sent there. So if we free up the forces here, we can replace the forces that you know we'd have to move out from here. Then I'll definitely do that. But the things stand at the moment. It'll probably be a, a, a task force that'll be sent in. Probably able to move some. Probably General Death. I'll probably send into there. Um, probably General Nelson as well will probably be sent in. But I just got to. If you if you're active here in the Middle East then you are, your likelihood is you're going to be stationed to the Middle East for a while yet until at least the Persian threat is, is put down and then you know those of you who are been asked to move into America you'll probably be moving into America either now or later on once things have sort of stabilized here but we're going to try and build a force to move into America into those into those sort of re rebel states there and we've got General TJP here, General Death Disease now known might move that, we're trying to replace this army here if we can at least, right so our research is going very well here. Nothing else we can research at the moment. Nope. Just abolition of slavery is our last one along the philosophy. We've got pretty much almost everything in textiles. We've got everything here in metal. Agriculture is good as well. Military is complete. Just got two naval top gallants and preserved foods. And then all our research is finished. Right. Let's end the turn, my friends. Let's see what happens here. Particularly here will be of real interest. <clears throat> Britain. A real look 
Look at that, look at the ships they got there. They pretty much control the trade routes and most of the Americas and the and the Caribbean is under British control. Look at Spain there. It's good to see Spain starting to build its influence. Could they be the nation that really brings the Prussians to heel? Could they be the ones that are going to really stop Prussia in its tracks? Because France couldn't do it. And France was incredibly powerful. It really was a very, very powerful nation. But they got crushed by the Prussian um, might, as it were, the juggernaut that, the, that is, the, is Prussia. Um, and France really did give Prussia a real proper fight, you know. I don't like that at all. That is that is unusual to say the least. We are definitely going to reinforce there considerably. Sweden, what will they do? Nothing now. Persia is it's a cri critical here. Will they come under another rebellion here? Who knows? But you can see they're starting to move forces now to the front lines. This is where we start to see that building towards another war. And that's why it's crucial that A, we rebuild, we reinforce as quickly as God, but also we, we keep, that I keep those generals that have fought, that have that experience, that have that courage, the discipline, are in the Middle East. I know that many of you want to go to America, my friends, and believe me, I want, I want you to go there as that sort of vanguard, that tip of the spear. But I need you in the Middle East. And pirates, of course, nothing. There was no rebellion this time, unless they've quashed that rebellion utterly. There's a chance they might have done that. Let's quickly check Esfahan here. Yeah, they brought it under control, as you can see here. Everything brought in control now. It's pretty we can't stir the pot there to get that. But as you can see, look, they're starting to move troops forward now into, into sort of forward aggressive positions here. And that's why we've got to get these troops into here as quickly as possible. Let's move it, please, anyone. Oh, look at that there. Yeah, I think we shall have... Right, let's see what we can do here. We've got more than enough cavalry, so we're just going to put... Gentlemen. Those gentlemen to there. And the rest can stay on the outside as a back as backup here. We'll just move them behind uh, Yerevan, Yerevan here. We are going to put money into this. The Iron Master is going to give us a very nice return here. We've got the 29th. That's dropped. That's dropped there. Mind you, look at our army upkeep. It is absolutely huge. So we've really got to push the boat out here in terms of getting our income going. Because we've invested a huge amount here. Ooh, Italian states. Whoa. That means there must be a rebellion there against the Spanish. Oh, look at that. They've lost Rome here. I hope we don't see the disintegration here of... <clears throat> Spain, because that would really put a real dampener on us there. Oh, look at that. They've put a... F that's an excellent move there. They've blockaded this bridge here. Nothing can go through here. But we are going to keep our eye on what happens here on the border here between France and Spain. That will really be crucial, not only to Spain, but to us as well. We need to know how our... Minus two? Drunk. Oh, that's a nice lot of troops coming in here. That's a huge boost there. And that is nice to see. In Kiev there, we're going to boost our troop numbers. As many of you said, Mali, need to boost your troop numbers along Minsk and here so that you can cut off this part here of the Prussian Empire, sort of separate it from the rest. Cut off this sort of part here by striking from St. Petersburg um, down sort of westward, then moving up northwards or northwest here um, from Mi from Kiev into Minsk, cutting off this part. If we were to take this here, it would really sort of, you know, pretty much cut off the sort of the, the far sort of the, the real eastern front part of uh, the Prussian Empire. So that's what we're building towards. What we might do to that end is we might move this army to around to here. That's strong enough there to hold. Now we've got a number of generals available. To, oh, actually, what we could do is move them to around there just to seal off that army and make sure this army is at full strength. 
Got one more gun to come in there. Channel my whip. Now, I think keep our forces moving into position here. Along the border. I know that seems quite a powerful group to have there, but we need to keep the Persians tied down here and strike hard and fast against them if they move against us again. Another general available there, and Joseph de Paz there in the Don, which is great. Right, let's get some more. Let's recruit some more. We need to keep that recruitment going here at great pace. And also, I think, I know that, was it Coney, I think, that we could get possibly um, those hunters. I believe it was Coney, if we were to make this into a military base. I believe it's Coney. Um, if you can just possibly confirm that for me, my friends, that Coney is where we get that military the military base is where we get the hunters, Siberian hunters, which are the f some of the finest marksmen you can get anywhere. And I'm definitely, definitely going to make sure that happens there, but again, Moscow is going to be a crucial juncture here for us. Let's get some more line infantry. We've got to reinforce that Middle Eastern front, we just have to. There they are, heavy cav. We should have one set of cannon here, 24, actually. We won't there. Oh, look at that there. Commercial basin which we will have there. This can be upgraded as well. Make sure we keep our income coming in. Tarkia. Right. Army Staff College just got to keep that supply coming in here so we're going to have more line infantry here and we'll also follow that up with some we got 12 pounders here we've got to wait there for the ordnance board so we're just going to have heavy cav and troops here and then here in Baghdad so 24 pounders line infantry and some cavalry. We've got to keep this going here. We have to build up our forces here because the Persians will not stay peaceful with us for long. Of that, I can absolutely guarantee you. The governor's barracks are also going to give us Tatars, Colonials, and 12 pounders. I'd rather put a governor's mansion here, to be honest with you, just for the tax income. We're not going to put anything on there just yet because if we lose it, we've given them then a building and a region that's fully prepared for them, which we're not prepared to do. Oh, look at that. In Armenia, so we've already got that. Ah, a dry dock. Ooh, steamship. That would be definitely a good way to start increasing our, our presence here. No, we've got to invest in any any sort of um, economic venture here. Is there anywhere else now that needs to be upgraded? Otherwise, we will put that money into the ships. Anywhere else now we're missing? I don't believe so. Well, at the moment, we've pretty much brought everything here up to full potential. We've got that almost ready there. That there as well. Now all firing at full capacity, which is excellent. What I think we will do is start building that that force we need for Americas. Let's get the guns built because they usually take the longest time to build. We'll have I think we'll have two of each and then we'll start putting some line infantry in there as well, for good measure. 
we'll start building up those forces. We've got coming in in 29,332. That's tr dropped off quite significantly there, so we're going to really have to push pretty hard here. Our tax income is not as high as we'd want. What's our policies here as a minister? Treasury minister is absolutely fantastic. We'll actually drop the tax levels here to try and push the growth in 11,780. We're going to try and push for growth here to get our tax income coming up. Let's really try and get our growth going here. That will then eventually compensate for the reduction in tax in income. It will eventually pay for itself in effect. I hope, I hope the Spanish take Naples, uh, Central Italy back, Rome. They obviously lost out to rebellion here. Especially where they got the Prussians on their doorstep here. A very powerful Prussian force. And also loitering around here as well. The Prussians might move along the coast here of the Bay of Biscay. Right, let's end the turn here, my friends. Let's see what happens. Are excellent. Britain. Don't be fooled, my friends, by Britain sort of standing here in Europe. In the Americas, they are absolutely dominant. Spain. That's good to see. That's more like it. A good defensive posture there from Spain. Oh, there's going to be a standoff there. There's going to be a standoff. Sweden. Nothing from Sweden yet. Oh, they've got a rebellion again. Look at the rebellion that's taking place here. that's good for us because that is keeping the Persians busy at home there. It weakens them as well, both politically, economically and sort of with the population. Clearly the population don't like their rule. It makes them more susceptible to a different rule there. Maybe they'd be more interested in a Russian rule. And look at those pirates there, absolutely raiding here. Hitting our income. Look at that, 7891. It's already gone up the tax though, and so is the trade. But because it's being, the trade must be, is it being hit at all? No, it's not. It's gone down here, 7891. But we got to just, we got to, we got to bear with this. No sense of shame. Oh, look at that. Plus one management treasury. Excellent. And that's why, because we've got a huge amount just suddenly produced here. Which we are going to send down into the Don here. To cask. Mesopotamia is seeing also a, a huge increase in military spending, which is needed. I probably need to get a general here. So if anybody would like this general here, there's going to be the start here of an army group to moving to Estefan once the Persians probably attack us again. Let's have a look how their diplomatic status with us is. They're, they're friendly at the moment, plus 44. Well, let's look at Italian states. Let's see if they are in <coughs> excuse me, interested in trade with us. I don't think so. We just want trade with you, please, sir. Then reject it, and once you fall to the Spanish, so be it. I don't know I don't like us at all, but will they strike against this? I'm not sure. We must remain vigilant here. Again, we've got to build the army from here, so we might invest in some additional troops here. Well, there's 12 pounders, we don't need 12 pounders, sir. That's what we're looking 
looking for excellent I think what we we'll probably do here as well is invest in some ships got 5,000 that is an absolute 5,148 well, if we want the best you've just got to pay for it and actually these here could increase our income here so we need to invest in our economy at the same time so this wait a minute wait a minute Jakaski here in the Crimea, that's going to get an upgrade. Fantastic, what will that bring us in there? Oh, 1250, excellent. We've closed off that there, but we can always invest in that again. We've just got to bide our time here now. Patience, my friends, a virtue. Look at that, moving into there, wonderful. Solidifying our hold on the border. They're at full strength. St. Petersburg is secure. I don't think there's anything else we can invest in. We'll keep some money back here to add that little depth to our bank. We'll keep a little bit of a surplus here in the bank. It's always worth having, but that's another rebellion here has been brought under control by the looks of it, but war weariness is pretty high here. Devastation by armies is absolutely high. Like, and food shortages, they've got no food. Food is really, really, you know, starting to hurt the population. They've got no tax coming in from here either. That's just to keep control of the of the got Greece here. Starting to build that army we wanted. And in oh, excellent. There they are, those gentlemen there. That army is now starting to we're starting to put another army together here in St. Petersburg. Ah, oh, a general yep it's gone so we have another another position open here for a general and we've got Muscovy on Bryansk actually if there was a general already here that may have passed away then they will be put back into this army so fear not my friends if your general was here that will be put back into the army will be put back take control of that army again your steam power cloth mill here got an agent oh we've got lots of agents in there good grief But that's fine. Also, oh, probably no. Actually, we're okay here. Fully upgraded. Everything's upgraded here. Yes, it is. Right. Oh, that's also being upgraded here as well. In Bucharest. Fantastic. Right. Let's end the turn. We're definitely keep our eye here. Firmly fixed here. Look, there's a standoff here. It looks like the Prussians might make a move into Spain proper, which will really be quite a crucial step there. Let's. In the turn, let's. We've got coming in now. Seven, seven, three, three. We want that taxing to come income to keep up rising. Let's do this. Let's end the turn, my friends. Our ah, excellent. Reinforcing Zagreb. Oh, well done, Britain. Well done, sir. <laughs> That's a mighty fleet they've got there, my goodness me. That is a mighty armada they're building there, the, the British. And why is Spain moving away? Don't give them any leeway there, sir. Will Prussia move into Spain proper here? That's the real question of this. No, they won't. Is that stalemate there? Are they backing off from each other, but that is a powerful group they've got there. Looking at two army groups potentially around Zagreb there in Croatia, that does lend a little bit of a problem for us there. We might cancel military access. They've paid a dear price there for that, but again, they're building up those... F Ooh, the rebels are back. Oh, and they sprung up again. 
more rebels <clears throat> they really are being hit pretty hard here but we're going to allow that rebellion to sort of fester there to grow pirates what will they do leave the trade road loads alone or routes should I say excellent plus one a sense of shame excellent game we've got a huge amount of income here uh, troops coming in here Anatolia as you can see we're just building these forces here so they can be moved up to Armenia here Greece has seen the first combat troops being produced here ready for that sort of assault into America proper so let's increase this army now eventually what have we got coming in now si oh god that's dropped 6631 why are we seeing such a drop here it must be to do with our army is increasing so fast not even our tax income is going to keep up with us we might just it's, we might just slow down on the on the building of troops at the moment just to give our economy a bit of a break because we are producing an absolute plethora of troops at the moment I think we've probably got <clears throat> That's a, that's a strong artillery based army. We should pull this army as well out and move it here ready to strike. We've already got an army group defending here. And that's a pretty powerful, that's a powerful strike force there that is. Ideally it needs to be an army group. We know that Anatolia is produce the troops we need there. We need an army staff college and that but we're going to invest in our economy probably to start with. Excellent. And Mesopotamia, so they're both up to where they should be. Full power, full strength, full investment here. We still got that to come s next. We've got these here, so we could probably go and invest now. We are going to invest in our economy next, so that we know that because we've spent so much on our military, a huge chunk of our money's gone into military. But we're gonna have to move into the Americas, I think, pretty soon. Oh, look at that there. That's just been left. We're going to have to move into the Americas pretty soon to be able to increase our income here. We cannot allow it to sort of just, you know, sort of our income to sort of just fester away there. We have to keep on top of our economy. We can invest in these two here. That will increase our trade and also the regional wealth, which is great. But I think we're going to start possibly moving into the Americas pretty soon here. Let's have a look how they're doing here down here. Yeah. Preferably here, Dutch Guyana and French Guyana. That's going to bring in. I could potentially be quite a lot of money there for us. Oh my goodness me, that's a lot of money there. Those, look at that, abundant yield, high yield. We need to get into there. We need to get into the Americas pretty soon. Whatever might be worth pulling a force, an army from here. I think what we will do is we'll put General Death I think we'll move General Death away from here down into Greece we're going to probably start moving into the Americas what we're then going to do is tighten up the front here actually and we'll leave them here this army here can replace that there that's probably yeah that's an able border which we don't need these gentlemen can actually be moved to here. To give us that complete. The rest are moving to here. So we've got a, a f two, f two armies in here. We'll give our economy a little bit of a breather here. Let's get our tax income up. It's 59%. It wasn't brilliant to start with, but that's fine. It's starting to go up a bit now. Plus one to management, minus one to treasury. 
We don't have the finest. Actually, he's a very amusing cad. Nice with the management. Yeah, not brilliant. That's fine. Right. I think we can end the turn again. Again, we're going to invest again in our economy, but also start to build this army up here into full stack army. Or we might even move this army here that's in Greece. And that might be part of the force that moves in with General Death here into the Americas. We're going to definitely keep an eye on what's going on here, though, with Spain and Prussia. Let's end the turn. Ah, excellent. Now, what do we got here? We've got cavalry. So we definitely have the cavalry in there, because I want to keep the cavalry, that mobility against the Prussians, because they don't have as much mobility as us in terms, and they also don't have the heavy cav we've got. That's to our advantage, let's do that. Great Britain. Come on now, Spain, don't back away from the fight with Prussia. to Vienna. Not good there. I don't like the look of this at all. <sighs> They're right on the border there with, with Spain. Right on the border. Oh, what? No, I'm afraid not good, sir. I shall not be giving Corellia away at all. And again, they got that rebellion. Wow. They're moving troops back to sort of deal with this with this rebellion. To be honest with you, unless they're moving towards our border here, will we see another a attack, another war being launched by the Persians? seeing whoa I think the British are absolutely pounding the Spanish here to pieces in 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 the Americas here because look they've just lost Mex they've just lost New Mexico here and the Mexico New Spain here and also Texas has fallen wow I think the British are making a huge move here against the Spanish and to lose Mexico which is absolutely a, a real hub here for the Spanish, that is that is a massive coup de gras there. Let's have the lower classes. That's more like it. That's more like it, gentlemen. That's more like it. Hundred. Look at that. That's starting to grow very nicely here. It's going by by two thousand gold per turn. It's exactly what we want to see. That investment has to pay back here. We might use this army here to hold. We retrofit some of these here. We can indeed. We've got four cannon here. One of the army here. We shall actually take these gentlemen out. Put these in. We won't disband these just yet. But I think this force here, along with General. Oh, wait a minute. I've just taken the General out here. What the blazes is going on here? an absolute idiot. I am. Then we shall move him back into where he belongs. And we shall have to close the gap here. So we move this army into the this sort of border for border area here. We just move these forces up slightly. Close the gap here. 
not recruit any more troops here, but we do have these gentlemen be able to move into here. Now what do we need? We shall have another artillery piece, and I think we'll have one more cavalry. And one more line of infantry in here. And these gentlemen then can be moved into here. Building up our forces ever steadily here. But again, our economy must be not neglected at all. Now, where are these gentlemen going to go here? We need to bolster that army there, so in fact the gentlemen here would be sent up to Zagreb, Croatia. <laughs> We're just going to leave the... We've got there 400 here and... We'll get Burgas done first. invest in that commercial base in there. That's fine there. This army can actually be moved to here to Py Pylos. The army here of General Death can move down to Pylos as well eventually. And they can board this fleet that's here, this naval force here. Small naval force, we don't need anything too fancy, but we just got to get ourselves into America before the British take everything there. The Spanish are strong here as well, which is good. Oh, that's a nice force, my word, look at that. But are they going to move in now? F oh. Good grief, that is a nice force there as well. Death Head Hussars. Bosniaks. A lot of high quality line infantry. I hope Spain doesn't sort of fall apart here, as you can see. They're taking quite a beating here. Let's have a quick look how Persia is doing here. Friendly is going up actually here. Mexico is indifferent. Let's see if we can get a trade agreement with them. Excellent. Well, that's a significant boost there to our trade, which is excellent to see. We 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 are not ones to sort of worry about in terms of politics there. We will take that if needs be. And again, we're just going to just sort of nurse our economy here a little bit. We have invested significantly here in troops. That's a, that's a pretty powerful force moving up to there, so we're going to try combine these armies here to make sure that Armenia is at least well protected, as it can possibly be. We might invest here in the Governor's Mansion, let's do that. So at least we're making a statement here of intent. I think we can probably end this turn here as well. This might be the last turn here, my friends, of this particular episode. Britain. Again, it's absolutely a powerhouse here in the Americas and the Caribbean. It really does have full control of virtually. And Spain is taking an absolute pounding here from the British. Come on now, Spain. Come on now, Spain. Ooh. Where are they going to be going exactly? Where are they going to be going with that? Oh, they can hit Britain. They're moving troops up there. Oh, and there are more troops going up. Wow. That could be a real tussle on the border there. A real tussle. Prussia. Will Prussia, Prussia make that move into Spanish territory? Or will they still move away again? We've got that game of cat and mouse there. We might cancel military 
you know, the ability to move into there. That doesn't bode well there at all. They may not like it, but that's just tough. We're not going to be. No, ooh, no, they've moved back again. That's a real game of cat and mouse. There, a real game of chicken there. Again, those re rebels are still pulled up here. <laughs> Denmark, Venice, Mexico. Look at that! What a wonderful sight there to see Mexico. F got trade with Mexico. Pirates. Move down, gentlemen, if you would, please. Thank you. Oh, look at that. 116, 12,847. Excellent to see. That's because we're... Ooh, 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 ooh. That's more like it. I think we'll invest here. Ooh, that's a lot of money to invest there. In Thessaloniki there. Let's get him moving up to here. Now... Prussia. Military access indefinite. I think we're going to probably. We're going to cancel military access. We're just going to cancel military access there. We're not going to give them that. I know that might put them in a. No, they're okay with it. They're okay, still okay with it. But we're not going to allow them to walk in there. We're going to cancel that. Oh, look at that. Three here. 875 there. We completely forgot about that. And here as well. So I think we'll invest here in Zadar. Commercial base in there. Try and get these ports up and running here as best we can. Again, here, commercial base in here as well in Varna. Three bottle man. No sense of shame, which is excellent. Commercial base in here. Oh, look at that. Armenia. We can't upgrade that just yet. Actually, what we will do is we'll cancel one of these here. Because this will be far, far more potent to the economy here. Look at that. 2,000 of the regional wealth here. That's why it's so important we hold Armenia because it really is. Look at that. 12, 8, 4, 7. We're starting to turn this around here. If we can get that tax income to, to re you know, represent pretty much the army here, we're going to be in a fair, fine fettle there. We really are. We've got enough here, I think, to hold the Don. I think there's anything else we can really invest in, as it were. <coughs> but we're going to move into the Americas for definite down to here here we're going to take Dutch and French Guyana and oh, that's that's all oh, this rebels as well in Newfoundland that would give us a good a good stepping stone here a good platform but look at Britain it's absolutely just conquered everything here but we need to have a rush a, fr a Russian footprint in the Americas we need to establish ourselves in there but that's going to be interesting here. This fight here is going to be very, very interesting indeed. Can we help Spain at all here? Now 
they've got everything. They're only mighty and they're only rich, which means they're probably feeling the pinch here a little bit in terms of their income. We are one of their main trade partners. Gotta try and keep them open here if possible. But why have they suddenly moved that an army into there? I'm not sure why, but still. So I think we might invest here in our naval forces. have we don't have that ability to have a steam sh uh, steam ship which I really would like to get so we'll have to wait here until we can increase that there but my friends we're going to end this episode here it's been a pretty quiet episode in terms of action here in military but it's been a wonderful sort of episode in terms of our campaign and how we are progressing in the campaign we've managed to get our economy back up now taking your advice in how to lower the taxes to increase the growth of, an, of the, each region which is seeing our income our tax income really going up now it started to grow quite nicely like between 1500 2000 gold per turn which is really really is excellent to see we have cancelled um, military access to the Prussians because that was giving me the little bit of the eebie-jeebies here. This this around here is our grab. I, you know, we need to keep ourselves pretty focused here. Our forces have to be very, very well placed here. And of course, we've got to watch out for Zagreb. So maybe we could probably move this general back here. I think we're moving back into Hungary because that's probably where the biggest threat is going to come from in terms of any Prussian harassment. We are moving these gentlemen here but they can probably be diverted back to the Hungarian front here we'll start to build another army here in Hungary and indeed we have you know started to secure this Armenian border but again as you can see look at that they're just ready to strike in here and we really want to get another army up here to make that army group but as I said I was just giving our our economy a little bit of a breather in terms of military spending the military spending has been absolutely massive I mean look at that we have just invested hundreds of thousands of gold into our, into our armies here primarily to keep Persia bottled up but also we're trying to not only go on the defensive but also build offensive armies, forces so we can take the fight to the Persians if they start, start on us again look at that, even then, how are they doing here now? oh it's well under control now so it looks like the rebellions are potentially could be over and we also want to start moving into the into Americas, which is why we've got this army here being moved in into just out Pi Pylos, and also we've got General Death as well moving into Pylos as well. We're going to be the strike force is going to move into those two uh, territories there of Dutch and French Guyana, and we have now f thankfully solidified our hold even more here in Hungary and also here in Croatia. Um, we could probably move more forces, but I did. I think the main fight is going to probably take place here in Hungary, if anything. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, my friends, your comments have always been and always will be so welcome. They really have. They have absolutely guided me on this campaign and all my campaigns so much. They really have. They've been absolutely fantastic. But hope you, you know, hope wherever you're doing, my friends. Hope everything's going well. If you have a good weekend. Um, We've got the Warhammer coming up very, very soon as well. But I'm not going to rush out the Warhammer videos. I'm not going to be just putting them out on day of release. I'm going to still carry on with my empire. I'm going to and once once um, I want to take my time with the Warhammer episodes. I want to do them properly. I want to put I want to put out quality, not just quantity. So you're not, I'm not going to be throwing out lots and lots of Warhammer videos at the expense of everything else. The Warhammer videos will slot into my routine and into my video into the sort of the the series as we go along but they won't overarch everything else they will just be part of the channel and um you know we'll definitely empire is still going to probably be the predominant um the predominant series on my channel but i hope you've enjoyed this my friends um i hope you're having a great weekend 
and, and until next time my friends we're like, I've got a feeling we're going to move into the Americas excuse my phone there we're going to move into the Americas and that's going to give us another stepping stone another area which we can build from we're going to take small steps in the Americas we don't want to stir any sort of any ill will from the British or the Spanish but eventually who knows where that might take us but until next time my friends bye for now